So my name is Eric Nyadimo. <coughs> I'm the chair of the GIS chapter. GIS actually stands for Geospatial Information Management. And this is one of the six chapters within the Institution of Surveyors of Kenya. Um, GIS is um, uh, part of the what we call the Geospatial chapters. So it uh, includes the Engineering Surveyors chapter, the Land Surveyors chapter, and uh, the, the GIS chapter as, as it may be. Uh, this is a chapter that was formed in the year 2014. Its membership currently stands at over 150 and it is growing by the day. Um, chapter chair requires a lot of co commitment. It also requires a lot of drive. It requires you to be innovative and it requires you to be in a position to guide the um, members of the chapter uh, to be able to lead the team and to be able to um, get them to see the bigger picture and to be able to represent um, the issues that need to be articulated on a day-to-day -day basis. So um, I'm looking at um, uh, leadership, looking at vision, um, I'm looking at um, uh, uh, organization uh, skills to enable you to succeed as being a chair of the chapter. GIS is um, um, we would say the new kid on the block. Um, although it's been in existence for over 40 years, having started in the 60s, we find that members of the chapters are specialists in activities that involve generation of geospatial information. Um, these include uh, spatial data acquisition, um, it includes processing of data, includes manipulation of data, analysis, modeling, disseminating this particular information and also visualization. So you find that uh, we sit at the end of the tunnel. Once the data has actually been collected, then it is brought to the realm of the geospatial information management to be able to now um, uh, author that data in terms of maps. And these maps can then be distribu distributed in terms of either through a web solution or through a mobile mapping solution. Um, these data can also then be analyzed <coughs> to be able to provide information that would uh, cut across various disciplines to serve as a point of um, uh, decision making. Um, so you find that the members of this particular chapter um, are professionals in the subject areas of remote sensing, in subject area of geospatial information systems, cartography, photogrammetry, geospatial data science among others. The feature is very bright. Um, GIS or the geospatial information is really the place that somebody wants to be in at the moment. Because uh, GIS, as I've said before, is multidisciplinary. It cuts across all the disciplines. And you find that it is a technology that is uh, spreading very fast. Initially, it was confined mainly to the mapping uh, sciences or the mapping technology uh, being used for land information management systems. But it has now moved into areas such as utilities, so you find water companies, electricity companies using GIS as a basis for the work that they do on a day-to-day -day basis. You find that it is now being used widespread in the areas of business in terms of looking at uh, location. You know, business is all about location. And location is defined uh, in terms of X, Y, Z coordinate values. And this um, uh, um, location uh, will really dictate in terms of whether you will actually succeed or not. But other than that, then you need to be able to measure things like sales volume. And you need to be able to relate that to the geographic space. And you find that GIS as a technology is playing a very important role in so far as that is actually concerned. Um, we get into issues like um, mobile mapping, where you uh, deploy... Uh, devices to collect data in the field. You, f um, you talk of um, uh, modern uh, uh, methods of uh, collecting data like using of unmanned aerial vehicles which are increasingly being deployed to assist in, uh, in, in data collection. So you find that um, technology has impacted quite a bit on this particular area. 
in fact without um, um, you would more or less say that GIS is uh, the technology that is driving the subject or the, the profession of geospatial um, information management um, and it's something that um, um, needs the scope needs to be expanded and as we shall see over time it will be growing uh, more and more and you'll be finding more and more people wanting to be able to use it already just simple applications like um, using Google applications um, you want to move from one point to another you have behind it you have geospatial information and um, uh, mapping is a, is a science that is, is very old, is as old as mankind, starting way back uh, with the Egyptian civilization. It's always been important for man to be able to know where they live and to know where the resources are located. And GIS as a platform provides that um, base to be able to um, measure or to be able to map or to be able to show how these resources are actually distributed. So. Um, um, technology uh, is critical for the development of this particular area and um, 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 it plays an important role.